Okay, so now we're on video number three. And on video number three, I'm going to show you how to add <clears throat> a different, um, maybe a, a, a PowerPoint through SlideShare and how you embed it with the widget tool. And I also want to show you maybe how to add a picture or something like that. So remember in video number two, we came over to here to, um, here's our home page. So remember, you would want to go to your teacher's web, um, your teacher's page on the wiki, because that's the site in which you're going to be able to change things. And so let's go to edit. And remember, we were talking about how to maybe change the size of your image. So if you just click on it, you can move your handles. These are called handles, and it makes it larger or smaller. You can also, once you click on it, you get this little information box in which you can align it to the left or to the center or to the right or you can have no alignment and then you can also increase it in size by hitting that plus or minus key okay so let's save that so now we have to go to and edit again I always have to remember to click edit again and we want to maybe add something else so Let's add um, a maybe a file, maybe a picture. So we're going to come up here to file and we're going to click on that. Now you don't want to use an external image. So if you find something on the internet or maybe you took a picture from your camera or from your cell phone and you loaded it up onto your computer and you want to go find that. So for an example, I'm going to go to upload files because that that's where all my pictures or maybe papers are. So I'm going to go find on my computer. So you'd have to go know where your pictures are located on your computer. So I'm going to pick a picture just as an example. We'll do kids playing maybe. And you click on your picture and then you do open. And there's the kids playing gift. And then I want to um, click on that. I, so I just clicked on it. And notice you see that I have to make it larger or smaller. I can make it go to the left of the wiki. I can make it go to the center of the wiki. And I can make it go to the right of the wiki. So let's go back and make it to the left of the wiki. And let's click Save. So now you can see that I've got an image over here and I've got my YouTube vid video. So now let's go and say that I want to go back to edit. So let's say I want to edit or add a, um, like a slide share. So I want to go to, <clears throat> on the internet, go up to your slide share, wherever you have your PowerPoint. And again, there's going to be a slide share video on how to use slide share um, on the, the video tutorials. So I've already uploaded my video and I've already signed in on my account. And so here are a bunch of videos that I have, PowerPoints that I have put on SlideShare. So just to show you, I'm going to click on the one that I want. And then once again, you're always looking for that little embed code. So I want to click on that embed, embed this presentation. So I want to copy it. Sometimes they'll have a copy button. Sometimes you'll have to click and drag it. If you have to click and drag it, you got to make sure you get the whole entire code. So rather than clicking and dragging, it's just better to hit the copy code. And now I've copied it. So I have to go back <clears throat> to the wiki and we want to do the widget. But this time we're going to insert code. So I don't know if you can see this. It's at the very bottom. You may not be able to see it, but remember we have table of contents, we have reference. And instead of doing slideshow, we're going to come all the way down at the bottom. There's this thing called insert code. And that's what we're going to go. 
and I think this is the one that works. If not, it's the other code. I don't know. I may be wrong. I don't think that one works. So it's not insert code. So we just messed up. That's okay because we just hit the back button and it goes back to normal. So let's go back and do widget again. And I guess it's the other code. At the very bottom, there's an other code. There we go. That's the one we want. And the first three explains to you how to do it. So again, I went to my SlideShare site and I copied the code and now I'm going to paste it in this text box window and now I'm going to save. And there it is. You can't see it because we haven't saved it yet, but I can click on that and I can make it bigger if I want and I can put it in the middle if I want. <clears throat> so notice I'm moving it up a little bit and let's click save and you can see what I did. So remember earlier I showed you how to make text and hyperlink it to something outside of the web page. We um, installed a video, a YouTube video. Here is my slide share presentation. That's something that you could do. You can click on it and it goes through the slides. So this might be an example of what your project might look like, showing all the math and it's easy for other people to share. And then here's some pictures or some other things that you can add in by using a file. Okay, so this is the end of video number three.